Listen, racists have been voicing their disapproval of seeing black characters on science fiction shows and movies, and this ridiculous behavior needs to be called out. Earlier this week, Stranger Things actor Caleb McLaughlin made an appearance at Comic-Con in Belgium. He discussed the racism he experienced from fans of the popular Netflix series. Very first Comic-Con, some people didn't stand on my line because I was black. Some people told me like, oh, I didn't want to be on the line Oh, because you were mean to 11. Even now, like some people don't follow me or don't support me because I'm black. He was only 14 years old when he started on the show, but that didn't stop the bigotry that came his way. Although what McLaughlin described is upsetting, it's nothing new in television and film, especially when it comes to the world of fantasy. We saw when John Boyega was cast in Star Wars and when Tessa Thompson and Idris Elba appeared in the Thor franchise. This year alone, there were racist attacks on Steve Toussaint, who was featured on HBO's Game of Thrones prequel, House of the Dragon. Bigots were also outraged by Moses Ingram starring in Obi-Wan Kenobi, Iman Vellani being Miss Marvel, and Mega the Stallion twerking with She-Hulk. But Mega and She-Hulk were getting in though. Amazon's new Lord of the Rings series, The Rings of Power, recently had to release a statement of solidarity with its actors of color after they faced racist online attacks. The statement read, Our world has never been all white. Fantasy has never been all white. Middle Earth is not all white. Black, indigenous, people of color belong in Middle Earth and are here to stay. The fact is white folks are scared about diversity permeating their screens because fictional worlds are starting to reflect the real world, a world where they aren't always being centered. But black people, both real and imaginary, aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Why do you think there's so much hate when it comes to sci-fi and fantasy? Comment below and visit theroot.com for more info.